Hello, my name is Amy and welcome to class number four in our eight week uh, navigating the end of the year series. So we're on week four. Wow, hard to believe we're halfway through the series already, which means we're also much closer to the end of the year. So today for your today's class, we're going to need um, one or two blocks. Our, our, um, they're optional, but they will probably help in a couple of the poses. So have something like blocks or blocks nearby, step stool, even a chair would work possibly. And we're going to start with um, a nice quote by Ovid, and that quote is, Take rest. A field that has rested gives a bountiful crop. So remember that as we go through today's class. Take rest. A field that has rested gives a bountiful crop. I think that's kind of an important thing to remember, especially as this is, if you're watching, um, as it is actually is uploaded, this is the week of Thanksgiving. So... Give yourself a little rest this week. Enjoy the time with family and friends, or maybe you have smaller groups this time than normal. Just enjoy that time and take a little rest. But before we rest, we're going to do a little movement first. All right, so let's come to stand at the top of our mats. Get our blocks out of the way here. We're going to stand at the top of the mat in a nice mountain pose, all four corners of the feet grounded down to the ground. You may need your blocks. If you know that you're tight in the hamstrings, that you need to bring the floor up to you, use the blocks. They, do not be ashamed by using the blocks. The blocks are your friend. Make, make your life easier, not harder. There's plenty in life that is hard enough. All right, so from here, stand with all four corners firmly planted on the ground, your feet, arms down to your sides. Just take a nice deep inhale and exhale, let that go. Twice more, inhale and exhale. Once more, inhale and exhale. From here, inhale, raise your, take your arms up overhead, reach for the ceiling, stretch out of your body, and exhale, fold, dive forward, bending from your hips, hinging from your hips, and fold in, look inside. Inhale, halfway lift, look with a nice flat back, and to maintain a flat back, use the blocks at whatever height you need, because when you're rounding in this pose, it's not helping you as much. You want to have more of a flat back. So come up as much as you need to. And if you need to come up even more, come up even more. Use something to raise the floor up to you more. Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, fold back in. Fold, deepen, look inside. Inhale, halfway lift. Look forward out in front of you. Exhale, fold in. Once more. Inhale, look forward and exhale, fold in. You can always have a bend in your knees as much as you need. What you're really going for here is to keep your hips over your ankles the best you can with, and try not to rock way far back. So come more on the balls of your feet and fold in that way so that your hips stay more aligned. Inhale, and just in this case, inhale, and we're just going to roll ourselves back up. So vertebrae by vertebrae, just roll yourself back up to standing. And exhale, arms down to your sides. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way. And now we're going to do, that was a nice little warm-up to get us going. And now we're going to exhale here in mountain pose for a moment. Arms up overhead, inhale. Exhale, dive forward, keeping your hips over your ankles. Nice deep dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Use the blocks if you need to. And from here, plant your hands and step your feet back into a nice long downward facing dog. Both feet back at the end of your mat, hips up toward the sky. Stretch out through your arms and your legs. Pedal out your legs if you need to. Do what you need to do here to really warm yourself up. Stretch back in a nice down dog, bent legs or straight, whatever feels good in your body. And from here, we're going to inhale and rock forward into a nice plank pose. You can always modify by putting your, your, your knees down. We're going to stay here for a moment. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come back up into your downward facing dog. Stay for the exhale. 
Inhale, rock forward into plank. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Twice more. Inhale, forward to plank, rock forward. Exhale, back to your downward dog. If plank, even with your legs down, does not work for you, stay in downward dog. Once more, inhale, rock forward into plank. Exhale, back into downward facing dog. Take a nice deep breath here. And from here, one more exhale. From here, inhale and bring your right foot forward on your mat. Place your left foot down into warrior one stance. Get your blocks in case you need them for the next pose. Have those handy and frame in your front foot. Come stand all the way up into warrior one. Remember warrior one, we're gonna have our hips pointed toward the front of the room. Your front leg is bent. Your back leg is rooted deep, nice and firm into the ground behind you at about a 45 degree angle with your foot. Inhale, bring your arms up overhead. Stay for the exhale. Inhale. And on the exhale, bring your hands down to your blocks. Straighten that right leg. And you can keep your back leg where it is or adjust as you need to. And now we're going to come into pyramid pose. So your front leg is nice and straight. Straightish. Don't lock the knee. Of course, the micro bend is good. Inhale, look forward. And exhale, let it go. Fold over that front leg as much as you can or would like to. Again, change the height of the blocks if you need to. Keeping both hips back toward the back of the room, squint, and the front squared toward the front of the room. Inhale, look forward. And exhale, fold over that front leg again. Inhale, look forward. And exhale, fold over. Now, place your blocks at the top of your mat and inhale, bend that front leg and come up. Adjust your stance into warrior two. So now you're going to bring that left foot back and have your heel to arch alignment. Bring your arms out to the sides and breathe here nice and deep. A couple of deep breaths in and out. Take a nice, another nice deep cleansing breath in through the nose and out through the nose. And now on the inhale, straighten your front foot or your front leg and now turn, pivot, so both of your feet are facing forward on your mat. You're in this nice wide-legged stance. You may need a block for this. So have that handy. Feet should be parallel to the front of your mat, front edge of your mat. Have your hands out to the sides, and, and basically about where your wrists or your hands are is about where your, your, your feet would be, your ankles. So about that wide of a stance. And from here, you're going to hinge forward, rocking forward. Exhale into a nice wide-legged standing forward fold. Inhale, look up, and exhale, fold in any amount that feels good to you. Try to keep your hips in line with your ankles so that you're not going back in space or too forward in space, but you're right there in the middle, the nice, happy medium. Breathe here for a couple of nice deep breaths. Remember, don't lock your knees. You can have a little micro bend, but just you don't want to over flex those. You don't want to have hyperextension in your knees. Inhale, come up. Exhale once more. Dive in, fold in. Inhale, come back up. Hands on your hips. If you need to put a slight bend in your knees to come up, do that. And now turn your front foot back into a warrior two pose, just for a brief moment. Excuse me. And then from here, now straighten that front leg, and now we're going to come into triangle pose. So again, you'll need your block. So if you've got the other one handy, put it next to your right foot. And from here, take your right arm out and just start to tilt your body forward and reach for that block. So now we're in a nice triangle pose, nice opening here. And if you feel steady and you're ready, 
Again, don't lock this front knee. It should be straight, but you don't want it to hyperextend. Bring that left arm up overhead and look up at, at your hand. If that bothers your neck, you can always look down. Just keep your the twist, keep your chest opening to the side here. Breathe here nice and deep. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Twice more. Inhale and exhale. Once more. Inhale and exhale. From there, bring both your hands to the front of the edge of your mat. Move your blocks if you need to and step back into a nice downward dog. From there, just let all that go. Release all of that. Pedal at your legs, what you need to do. Stretch back in a nice downward dog, hips up toward the air, breathing in and out here for a few nice deep cleansing breaths before we do the other side. One more inhale. And on the exhale, we're going to step our left foot forward into warrior one. So come all the way up. And I'm going to turn so that you're, I'm going to be facing the correct way. So you stay on your mat as you are, but we're going to have that left foot forward into warrior one. The right foot is going to be back, about a 45 degree angle, and your hips will be pointed straight toward the front of your mat, or front of your room, front of your mat. Inhale, bring your arms up overhead, reaching up out of your hips, standing tall. Breathe here, a couple nice deep breaths in and out. Once more. And now straighten that front leg. Grab for your blocks if you need them. I should have said that earlier. I'm sorry about that. Grab those. Have those handy. And now inhale, looking forward, keeping your hips back toward the back edge of your mat. And exhale, fold over that, that front leg, that front left leg. Inhale, look forward, nice flat back, look out straight. And exhale, fold over any amount over that front straight leg. You can always stay right here. So find your, to the degree that feels best in your body. One more, inhale. And exhale, fold over. And now from here, keep the blocks where you'll have them handy. We're just going to open up into a nice warrior two. So come all the way up. Bring that let that back foot over. Or out toward the back. Open up to a nice heel to arch alignment. Bring your arms up to the sides. Outstretched in front of you. Really breathe deeply here. In and out through your nose. Bend in your left leg. Back leg is nice and foundational and straight. One more inhale, exhale. On the inhale, straighten your front leg and now pivot, turn that, that left foot in. So now you are nice parallel on your mat. Your feet are parallel to the side edge of your mat, or facing the side edge of your mat, I should say. Bring your block with you if you need. Bring your arms out stretched. Breathe in here and exhale and fold forward into a nice, wide-legged standing forward fold. So inhale, look up, smile, and exhale. Let it go. Breathe here for a couple of deep breaths, in and out through the nose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Remembering to try to keep your hips in line with your ankles so they're not really far back or really far forward. From here, inhale, look up, and now slight bend in your knees, hands on your hips, and rise back up to stand. And now we'll do a brief uh, warrior two again, so turn that right, that left foot out. Take a nice deep inhale through your nose, and exhale through your nose, and from there, straighten that left, that front leg. Bring your left arm out in front of you. And just start to tilt forward until you can reach either your a block, your shin, or the floor. Whatever prop is necessary for you. Spin your chest open to the side. 
You can either keep your arm, your hand on your, your right hip or bring that arm up overhead and look up at that arm. Look out in front of you to the straight like I am to the camera or you can look straight down to the floor. This is triangle pose. Another nice deep breath in and out through the nose. Let's do one more. Inhale and exhale. From there, plant your hands. Step back into a nice long downward facing dog. Pelt your legs, let all that go, let those two sides go. One more deep breath here. And now exhale, just come onto your, your knees for a moment and sit back on your heels for just a moment. And we're going to talk about the uh, today's peak pose. So today's peak pose is revolved triangle. And revolved triangle is a twisting pose, and it's also what the, all that work we've been doing is helping us open up to get ready to do that pose. So we'll talk about what twists do for us here in a minute, but let me show you the pose. Blocks are really handy in this case. I find that I, I have a hard time doing this pose without blocks. So we, this again, this is a peak pose. So what that means is I want you to play around with it, explore it, watch what I do first to see how we get into it, and then just explore at your own pace and how you'd like to do it go as far into it as you'd like to or as little as you want to or if it's just not for you then you can just go back to just a regular triangle pose or maybe another pose that you like that we just did earlier today a warrior two whatever you know suits your fancy but I, I encourage you to at least attempt to and play around with the peak pose a bit so this at this juncture I think we just would need the one block so you put your block at the top of your mat and for this one it's going to be a little bit of a combination between like pyramid and triangle. So instead of doing this, this, this I find is harder for a lot of students, even myself included. Um, we're going to come into it from a from almost a pyramid standpoint first. So what you're going to do is you're so right now my right leg is forward and it's nice and straight, and my back leg is at about a 45 degree angle. It can also be the 45 degree angle I think is actually pretty good. So, um, adjust your stance to wherever you find is most comfortable for you. And then have that block at the ready and handy. And from here, you're just going to hinge forward at your hips, bring your left hand down to the block. So your right leg is forward, left hand down to the block, and then slowly and carefully, using your abdominal muscles, twist your body to the right. And if you'd like, you can either leave that hand down on your back. That's a good place to be because this is a really intense stretch as it is. Or if you feel steady and ready, bring that right arm up overhead. This is a pretty intense um, twist, but I encourage you to explore it. Again, don't lock this knee. So if you need to have this one, if your hamstrings are really tight, then you can have a slight bend in your knee and still twist. And you can also have the hand on the small of your back. So I'd like for you to just try that out, give it, give it a whirl, see what you think, and breathe in this pose. And we're going to stay there for just a few minutes while we just kind of explore the pose. For those of you that have, have, are trying that one, and you would, and it's like, oh, that one's pretty easy for me. I'd like to try the, the triangle one. So the only difference between what we just did is this left foot is, you're almost like in a warrior one stance with your front leg straight. You're just going to take this one back into like a warrior two stance. Now you're in triangle pose. And from here, you're going to twist your body over, over that right foot, put your left hand down, and then twist yourself open. This one's a much more intense, especially for me especially. So I prefer having that foot out. And you can have that foot out any amount that you need it to be. So if you want to try this one, go for it. Got to be careful we don't tweak this knee. So I would really recommend just keeping this left foot out at a 45 degree angle. So take a nice another cleansing breath there. And after you explored that pose on that side, let's take a breath. Come back into mountain pose for a minute. Just let all that clear out. Just stand here for a moment. Close your eyes. It's kind of a balance challenge even. And if you really want to challenge your balance, bring your feet together in mountain pose with your eyes closed. You'll start to feel yourself being a little wobbly. All right, so we'll try the other side now. So bring that block up with you. Now your left foot is forward. Block is, block is to the right of your left foot. Your right foot is back at a 45 degree angle or so. 
from here, looking forward, you're gonna just gonna hinge forward at your hips, bring that right hand down to the block, and then you're gonna inhale and just twist your body. Again, your left hand can stay on the small of your back. This is a good place to be. You can also have a bend in this knee any amount that you need to, or come into the full expression with your arm all the way up overhead, only if that feels good. And, and it's not tweaking anything, it doesn't hurt. Otherwise, this is good. You can also just back off the twist a bit. You can just maybe barely twist. You don't have to go, you don't have to really crank it. You can, and I'll show it from this side just so you can see. So my, my left foot is still forward, my right foot is back. And we're just twisting to the, to the left in this case. And the arm can go up overhead. The more that you bring this back foot out, that, was, that will help you with, to facilitate that twist. Again, you can also bend the knee. So explore it for a moment. Breathe. Breathe deeply in this pose. Don't forget to breathe. That's really important. Don't forget. And when you're done and when you're ready and you've had enough of that pose, come into a nice mountain pose. Close your eyes and just let all that go. Again, the peak pose is not about getting it right or perfect or making it look a certain way. It is about trying a, a more challenging pose and seeing what you can go with it. And if you've got to be modified big time in it to start with, that's fine. You know, you can always do this at a wall too. You know, you could have one, you know, you could have your foot forward and your opposite hand on the wall and you could just twist your body that way. I mean, there's, there's a few different options here. So just play around with that. Maybe over Thanksgiving holiday and nothing else to do, just grab a wall and try that out. All right, from here, we're gonna come into child's pose. So have your big toes touching. Knees can be wide or close together. Stretch out on the mat into a nice child's pose. I'm gonna stay up, but I'd like for you to get in this nice child's pose. And while you're in child's pose, so take some nice deep cleansing breaths there and just listen to what I have to say about today's, uh, this week's tip. So this week's tip, as you're in child's pose, enjoy for a moment. We've done some twists today. Um, well, we've done the one really revolved triangle. And um, twists are really, really good at helping us to digest not only our food, but our experiences, our emotions, and everything that we take in. So everything that we take in becomes a part of us in some way. And we have to digest those things. And sometimes we don't do a very good job of digesting those things. So twists are really good at helping you to digest all kinds of different things, not just your food. They're also a fantastic de detoxifier. And our finishing, what we're gonna finish up here in a moment, um, we're gonna do a supine twist, but we're gonna start on the right leg. And I don't know if you've noticed in a lot of the other twists that we've done, I've started on the right and then moved to the left. And the reason we start on the right is because of the way that our digestive tract works. So uh, it's, it starts, uh, from the right, moves its way up and over, and then down to the left and out. That's at least our, how our food body, our food is digested. The another thing that you can do, especially this time of season, this time of year when there's a lot of things going on, if you lengthen your exhales, so we try this in child's pose right now, inhale, and then exhale and lengthen out that exhale the best you can. When you lengthen out your exhale, it helps to bring the parasympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system online, which helps you to calm, it helps you to rest and to digest. So this is really important, especially in the holidays when we're gonna be eating more food and all of those kinds of things. So from child's pose, we're gonna go ahead and lay on our backs. And from here, you're going to stretch that left leg out in front of you, bring the right leg in and hug it into your body. And this right here is helping to compress the, the digestive tract a bit, which you want to help your digestion. And then we're going to exhale and bring it over into a twist. So bring that right leg across your body. Now your hips are stacked or mostly stacked and your right hand will come out to the side. Breathe here deeply. Again, twists are wonderful for detoxification, for digestion. And as you're doing this, try to lengthen your exhale because that will also help your body, signals to your body to rest and digest. Sometimes we don't do enough rest and digest. 
and then we have digestive issues. All right, inhale, come back up. Squeeze that knee into your chest one more time. Exhale, stretch that leg long under your mat, and now bring your left leg into your chest. Hug it in. Now we're compressing the left side. And now exhale and bring that left leg over to the right. Stack tips, or mostly stack tips, and bring that left arm out to the side. And breathe here, take, take a nice inhale. And then try to lengthen that exhale. It's a really nice way to calm the body. It's really nice if you're stressed out, too much is going on, the holidays got you going crazy, go steal away for five minutes, even if it's in the bathroom, just to get a, a break and take some deep breathing in and out through the nose. And try to lengthen those exhales. That'll help calm you down. All right, inhale, come back up. And from here, stay in line in this lying position. Bring the soles of your feet together and your legs out wide to the side. This is where blocks could also come in handy. If this is really hard on your, your inner groin and hip area, you can take two blocks and place them underneath of each of one underneath of each knee, and that will help prop up your legs. And this is a fantastic pose also for digestion to relax, to rest, digest, all of those things. So I'm going to give you the option to stay in this pose for Shavasana. It's a great option for Shavasana. Unless you really just love your normal run of the meal every day, run of the mill every day uh, Shavasana, then stretch your legs out. So you pick whichever one is calling for you today. I'm going to sit up and watch the time. But you pick one, either the reclined bound angle pose, your solar feet together and knees out to the side. You go ahead and stay there. Breathe here in and out and really, really just notice your breath. Um, inhales and exhales. Notice is one longer than the other. And if you can, try to lengthen out those exhales and see. See if you don't start to um, feel more relaxation come about. So stay here for just about another minute. I'm going to give you some quiet. I'll let you know when the time is up. Stay either in your reclined with your soles or feet together or full Shavasana. Breathing. And just let yourself go into the mat, whichever pose you have chosen for your Shavasana. And just remember, during this chaotic, fun, crazy, happy, there's all kinds of different things that go on around the holidays. Take time to rest. Take time to enjoy this time with your friends and family, if you're able to go visit. Take a notice of the food, the conversation, everything that's going on around you, even if it's the chaotic stuff. Just notice that. And if you really start to find that it's really just stressing you out, just take a break. Just walk away for a minute. Again, go find a closet or something or a bathroom, wherever, where you can just take some nice, deep cleansing breaths. I recommend starting with at least 10. If it's really stressful, maybe you do it to 20. If it's really insane, you might need to go to 100. And if it's beyond all that, then maybe you just need, well, there's a few options in that case. Maybe a glass of wine. I hate to, to promote uh, that, but I do enjoy a glass of wine here and there. So I recommend, you know what, do what you need to do to let everything go. And above all, have gratitude for this, for this time and this time with your family. So from here, I'd like for you to hug your knees into your chest if you're ready to come back up. If not, stay in that pose. Roll over onto your right side. Come all the way back up to seated. Join me. And uh, in a moment of gratitude, gratitude for showing up on your mat, even during Thanksgiving week. And gratitude for all the wonderful things in your life. Even if there's things that you don't like about your life right now, be gra gracious, gr have gratitude, excuse me, have gratitude for what you do have in your life that is going the way you want it to. We can always find things that we we're grateful for, always. Even in the midst of things that may not be going like, like we want them to. So thank you for joining me. Namaste. I bow to you and I hope that you have a wonderful holiday season. Namaste.